5.9% hydrogen, oxygen, what's that? 94.9%. Okay, you should all be, uh, Haley? Um, I want one decimal place, okay? So we should all be uh, fairly comfortable with figuring out the percent composition based on the molecular formula. All it is is you're just taking the weight of the hydrogen and putting it over the weight of the total, which is 34 grams per mole in this case. Okay, and that's how you get to that number. Um, for oxygen, it's going to be 32, right? Because you got two oxygens over 34 grams per mole. Okay? Now, we know how to get from the formula to the percentages. Today, we're going to learn how to go from the percentages to the formula, and it's a little bit more of a, of a process, okay? So, why don't you copy down this, uh, this definition here. Um, from the percentages, you actually get the empirical formula of the compound. Okay, and the easiest way to um, show you this is just by doing an example here. And I'm, we're going to talk about a compound that is 25.9% nitrogen and 74.1% oxygen. We're going to try to figure out what the empirical formula is going to be. Okay? And there is a three-step patented process invented by yours truly. No, not really, but um, I'll make it sound like it's mine. All right. Um, the first step is assume 100 grams of material. Okay. If we have 100 grams of material and 25.9% of that material is nitrogen, how many grams of nitrogen do we have? That turns the percentages into grams, doesn't it? Okay. So now we've got 25.9 grams of nitrogen and 74.1 grams of oxygen, okay? Step two, turn grams into moles, okay? We should all be fairly comfortable with going from grams to moles, okay? I'm just going to put my 25.9 grams of nitrogen into my fence here. Oops. I'm going to come out with moles of nitrogen, okay? Trinka, what do I have to divide by to get to moles of nitrogen? Uh, Molar mass of nitrogen, which is 14, we'll say called 14.0 uh, grams. Okay, and for oxygen, similar type of a deal, 71 grams of oxygen. Draw my little fence here per one mole. And then 16 grams, right? Because that's the molar mass of oxygen. Moles of oxygen. And somebody with a calculator would, wouldn't mind helping me out. 1.85 moles of nitrogen. And what would oxygen be? 4.6. Mole. We'll call it 4.60. Okay? So now we just figured out how many moles of nitrogen and moles of oxygen. Well, to figure out the empirical formula, it's the lowest whole number ratio of nitrogen to oxygen. So the third step, the third and final step to this process is divide by the lowest. number of moles. Okay, whatever that element is, you're going to divide by that. Okay, so if I've got 1.85 moles of nitrogen 
and that's my lowest number, I'm going to divide by 1.85. Okay, and that's going to that's going to give me a, a whole number for my nitrogen. Okay, 1.85 divided by 1.85 is one nitrogen. In my compound, in my empirical formula, I'm going to have one nitrogen. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing to the oxygen. Divide by 1.85. Okay, and if you divide 4.6 by 1.85, you should get 2.5 oxygens. What does that mean? In my empirical formula for my compound, I've got one nitrogen and 2.5 oxygens. Let's draw that out in formula form here. Okay. Now we all know that we can't have decimals in subscripts when we're talking about formulas. So what do we have to do to get rid of that decimal place. If we multiply the whole thing by 2, we get N2O5, lo and behold, N2O5 is my empirical formula. Uh, it's got to be the lowest whole number ratio, lowest number.